Hello, it's Phil at digitaldjtips.com. Take a look at this, the Reloop tape. It's a fun looking little um, cassette tape, which is designed to let you record your DJ mixes, but not onto old fashioned tape, instead onto any USB pen or stick drive that you might happen to have lying around. Here it is, out of its case. So why would you want to use something like this, especially when your software already has a record button? Well, some software, of course, doesn't have a record button. If you've got LE software that came with a DJ controller, then maybe there's no record button on it. But this has also got a use if you're going to be out and about in clubs or in bars and you want to record your DJ mix from the club mixer or the bar mixer. And the reason you might want to do that is if there's only you playing, it doesn't really make that much sense, you might as well record it using the record button in your software. Uh, but if there's more than you playing, so there's other DJs and you want to record the whole night, or there's a microphone, you want to record what's going on in the mic, or you've got you know, live musicians like bongo players or whatever, mics in there, you're going to want to record the whole thing. And of course, a DJ controller can't do that. It can only record what you're doing in the DJ software. So that's another reason why you might want to do it. But also, this is actually very useful for recording ripping vinyl. It's got a little button on the side which sets it to phono, which is a vinyl input. Uh, and then you can plug your record deck into it and you can record your vinyl. You need a special lead, uh, a different lead to get the signal from your record deck into here. But uh, once you've got that lead, um, it's got a ground terminal, a ground loop, so you can ground it up so that you don't get any hum. Uh, and it's a good way of getting vinyl straight from the vinyl onto a um, USB. So that's the basic premise of the thing. Uh, let's have a little look at the features of it. On the front is the USB bit, so that's where you will plug your USB into. There's also the input, so that's where the input that comes from the back of your mixer goes into. The input, as I say, has got a ground, and that is grounded on the back of the S4 that I've connected it to. So now that's all grounded and plugged in and ready to go. There's also a through there. That means that if you've got a DJ controller or a mixer where there's only one output. In other words, you've plugged this in, now there's nowhere to plug your speakers into, they can go straight into there. So it's a way of getting around only having one output. If you've got a subwoofer in your speaker system, quite often they work exactly the same way. So you'll plug your output from your mixer or your controller into the subwoofer and then you plug your normal speakers into the subwoofer as well and it's kind of like a through. So if you have got that kind of setup, it's exactly the same. On the side of the tape is a set of connectors, a uh, set of switches, sorry. There's a phono line switch, which we've looked at. That's just for plugging a record deck in. There's also the switch that adjusts 192 or 320 kilobits per second MP3 quality. 320 is highest, 192 is all right. It's good if you're gonna record the whole night on a, um, a USB, which would otherwise get full too quickly. Um, but 320 is gonna be best overall. And there is a DC power in there as well, so that's where that will plug in. So now we have power to the thing. On the front of it, there are some lights. There's a power light, which is just illuminated to tell us that we have that power plugged in. Uh, a USB light, which tells us that that's there. A record light, and then a signal peak. Signal peak will go to red from green if you're overdriving the device and distortion is likely to occur. I've tested it with this Tractor Control S4 and I had to turn the Tractor Control S4's volumes up very high so it was really very in the red on the computer um, before it distorted. So that means that as long as you're staying somewhere sensible on your mixer or on your controller, it should be alright. And when you're ready to record, you hit the record button, the record light lights up and when you finish, you just press it again and that's it. Everything's on your USB, you can whip that out, plug it into your computer. I would then load that into something like Audacity. Audacity is a free um, digital audio workstation. It sounds flash, but basically it lets you load up this, um, trim the ends, normalize it, which is just clicking a button that will make the volume as loud as possible without it distorting, so it sounds good when played against other stuff. Uh, and then re-output it so that you can put it onto your MP3 player, put it into iTunes, upload it to Mixcloud, or whatever. So there you have it, the Reloop tape. I liked it, I thought it was good. Obviously, it only records MP3, so if that's an issue to you, you're uh, not gonna want it. And um, I think the fact that you have to have it plugged into the mains is um, a little bit of a disadvantage. It would be nice to see it have a rechargeable battery built in so that you plug it into the mains if you want, but that would also charge it up so you could use it away from the mains. It is gonna be useful to people who need a reason to record their mixes um, that's 
not pressing record on their DJ controller for the reasons we outlined. Otherwise, there's no point. And the reason it is uh, better than just you know a recorder from a company like Zoom, there are recorders you can buy that um, do let you record MP3s directly from source. Uh, the reason it improves on that is that it's got the phono switch, so you can record direct from record deck, and it's also got the through, so that if you only have one output, it doesn't matter, you can still use it. So they're the two reasons that DJs might find it useful against other MP3 recording devices that are out there. And of course, it does look quite cool if you turn up and you record on that. You know, there's nothing wrong with having stuff that looks cool, and they've made it kind of like a bit kitsch by giving you these stickers, so you can uh, write on a sticker and stick it over your tape to personalise it for yourself. So there you have it then, the Reloop tape. There's a full review of this, including current pricing and availability on the Digital DJ Tips website. And you can find that at djtips.co slash tape. Thanks for watching.